Hey guys, I put the chapter of five and in this video I'll teach you guys how to job at the two point two format using quick pwn or the pwnage tool. Now I'm running on Windows so um I'll have to use the quick pwn version. Okay, but anyways the first going to do is prepare the iPod software to restore to the 2.2 firmware. So all you're going to do is connect your iPod to the computer and hit update. And I'll be back as soon as it's finished restoring to 2.2 firmware. Okay guys, and then what you need to do is you need to download QuickPone or whatever uh, tool you're going to use. So in my case, um, I am going to use QuickPone. So what we're going to do is extract it off downloading it. The link will be in the description. And now what we're going to do is connect our computer to our iPod or the other way around. And what we're going to do is just install this. So allow... Okay, so now what we're going to do is make sure Quick Pwn opens up and then click that next and then um, our iPod Touch or whatever device you have will be recognized. And here's just some other information. Um now you still can't um the iPod Touch second generation still isn't supported. Um iPod Touch first generation, you just need to update to two point two with iTunes and one quick phone. iPhone second whatever iPhone first generation, which is two G. You'll need to restore your iPhone with iTunes and then run Chrome to do the um, same process. And for locked iPhone 3G, um, yes, uh, you are using your iPhone with one carrier and have no interest in the possibility of an iPhone 3G unlock in the near future. Then just restore or upgrade to 2.2 using iTunes. And quick use quick clone to jailbreak and add to the installer. Um and that's about it. Okay. So hit next. Replace boot logo is actually no. And now what we're gonna do is I'm sure you guys are good with this process. The instructions are on the board on the computer. Hold down the home button for five seconds. And now hold down the home and power for ten seconds. <coughs> and now release the power button and continue to hold the home button for thirty seconds. Then in that time it will start jailbreaking. And your iPod touch screen should go white. And if you <coughs> if you look at the um iPod touch screen, you will notice something different. Downloading jailbreak data and you'll see an iPod. Well it looks like a nano to me but with a down arrow which stands for downloading so yeah so just wait for the process to finish and if this successfully comes off and it says the ponage process appears to have completely successful whatever what we're going to do now is let go of the home button and if you look at the iPod you'll see a pineapple logo the colored one and you'll see some stuff getting installed. Now it's optional for you guys to close the quick phone 
application or whether you if you don't want to you don't have to but it's your choice and I'm just gonna leave right now so it's just gonna install a few processes as the 2.2 firmware it's much more complicated than the 2.1 firmware many new additions features okay so this is a st stable jailbreak because Quickpone is like one of the best tools I know for jailbreaking. It's like a stable version of the iPhone. But anyways, I'll be back once the. Hold on. I'll just show you guys what happens to me right now. <coughs> okay, so it's just finished. And now it's rebooting, as you can see. Mm. Still rebooting. Usually takes a few minutes, doesn't it? And it's always back. Oh. No need to wait. So, live to unlock. Sorry about that. And there you go. You can't, uh, just to show you better, just lower down the brightness. As you can see, installer and CD has been installed. So that's how to jailbreak the 2.2 firmware. And just to prove that I'm on 2.2, for you guys that thinking, oh, he's on 2.1, just go into general. About and you can't see that there's 2.2 um yeah so yeah.